Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 13 where we are learning a great deal on surface areas and volumes. This is episode number 8 and today we are going to talk about volume of a sphere and volume of a hemisphere. So now friends, whenever we talk about volume, we have seen often the term capacity used almost synonymous with volume. So what is the volume of an object and the capacity of an object? So volume of any object is really the amount of space that the object occupies. That is what is meant by the volume of any object. So what is capacity? Now capacity of an object, capacity of an object is really synonymous with volume of an object. Oftentimes they mean the same thing. So capacity of an object is the volume of substance the object can hold or accommodate. Meaning if the object, whatever the object which is in the question, if this object is hollow or empty from inside, then we can potentially fill that in with any kind of gas or liquid. So in that case, capacity of the object will be equal to the volume of the substance that the object can hold or accommodate. So this is important to keep this in mind. Now, volume of a sphere, we know that the only important measure which is, uh, which is uh, something that we really need to know for a sphere is the radius r. So if you take a sphere and if you basically cut through the sphere, like if you have, a, if you draw a plane that goes right through the middle of the sphere, through the center of the sphere, then on that plane you will get a circle like this. And the radius of this circle is r. So then the volume of this sphere will be equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. So 4 divided by 3 times pi r cube. This is the formula for volume of a sphere with radius r. So now what about a hemisphere? So the hemisphere is nothing but if you if you take the same plane and cut the sphere into two equal parts each part is a hemisphere. So this is a hemisphere. We saw the word hemi means half. So hemisphere, you can think of this as half sphere. Right? So the volume, so our radius is still r. So the volume of a hemisphere will be equal to, as you can imagine, it will be 4 by 3 pi r cube, which is the volume of the sphere. And we will actually make this half. So half times 4 by 3 pi r cube which is nothing but, this will cancel, so 2 twos are 4, 2 by 3 pi r cube. This is the volume of a hemisphere. 